Welcome to our video on the topic of what would happen if the United States were to default on its debt. The United States government has been borrowing money for decades, issuing bonds that are purchased by investors to finance its operations and programs. But what would happen if the US were to stop making payments on its debt? In this video, we will explore the potential consequences of defaulting on debt and what it could mean for the economy, the government, and the American people. So let's dive in and learn more about this important topic. The US government borrows money by issuing bonds, which are essentially IOUs that promise to repay the investor with interest over a specified period of time. The Treasury Department is responsible for issuing these bonds and managing the national debt. When the government needs to raise funds, it will sell bonds to investors, who then receive a steady stream of income in the form of interest payments. The government can sell bonds in a variety of ways, including through auctions, which are open to individual and institutional investors. The bonds can have different maturities, ranging from a few months to 30 years, and the interest rate paid is determined by market conditions and the overall demand for the bonds. In summary, borrowing money through the issuance of bonds is one of the main ways that the US government funds its operations and programs. This process allows the government to raise money quickly and efficiently. Are you looking to take your business skills to the next level? The Art of Strategy, business lessons from the most notorious bosses in TV and film has everything you need to know to achieve success in the fast-paced world of business. Learn from the cunning and strategic moves of some of the most memorable bosses in TV and film, like Scarface, Tony Soprano, Gus Fring, Prop Joe, and Stringer Bell. Discover how these iconic characters navigated through complex and challenging situations and how you can apply their lessons to your own career. Get your copy of The Art of Strategy, Business Lessons from the Most Notorious Bosses in TV and Film today and start your journey to becoming a successful and effective business person. Check out the link in the description purchase this ebook at a one-time exclusive price. Defaulting on debt or failing to repay bondholders would have severe consequences for the U.S. economy and the government's financial stability. First, defaulting would likely trigger a recession as the bond market would suffer and investors would lose confidence in the government's ability to repay its debt. This, in turn, could lead to higher interest rates and inflation as the government would need to pay higher rates to attract new investors. Second, defaulting would have a significant impact on the United States credit rating, causing it to drop and making it more expensive for the government to borrow money in the future. This could also damage the country's reputation on the international stage and make it harder for the U.S. to maintain its position as a global economic leader. Finally, defaulting would also have a significant impact on the people of the United States, potentially leading to cuts in government programs, higher taxes, and a decrease in the overall standard of living. In conclusion, defaulting on debt would have far-reaching and long-lasting consequences for the U.S. economy and the American people, and it should be avoided at all costs. There are several ways that default on debt can be avoided. One option is for the government to increase revenue through higher taxes, which would provide more funds to pay off the debt. However, this approach is often politically controversial and may not be feasible in practice. Another option is for the government to reduce its spending, either by cutting back on government programs or by reducing the amount of money it allocates to certain areas. This approach is also politically challenging, as cuts in spending can have a negative impact on certain groups and may be unpopular. Finally, the most effective way to avoid default is through political compromise, where leaders from different political parties come together to find a solution that balances revenue and spending. This might involve a combination of tax increases and spending cuts, as well as other measures to address the underlying fiscal imbalances. In conclusion, default can be avoided by finding a solution that balances revenue and spending, and by political leaders working together to find a solution that is in the best interests of the American people. In conclusion, defaulting on debt would have devastating consequences for the U.S. economy and the American people. It would trigger a recession, lead to higher interest rates and inflation, harm the United States credit rating, and negatively impact the standard of living for citizens. However, there are steps that can be taken to avoid default, such as increasing revenue through higher taxes, reducing spending, and political compromise. Finding a solution that balances revenue and spending is key to avoiding default and ensuring the long-term financial stability of the U.S. government. 
In summary, defaulting on debt should be avoided at all costs, and it is important for political leaders to work together to find a solution that is in the best interests of the American people. Thank you for watching this video on the consequences of defaulting on debt.